All right, hey, welcome back. We're in the garage here today during our lovely coronavirus pandemic, and it's left me with nothing to do but clean the wheels on the buggy. I planned on spending the entire day cleaning the wheels today. I bought some cleaner, some polish, polisher, planned on making a day of it. But uh, I've quickly found out that it's not gonna take that long. So I bought this stuff right here at Napa. It's aluminum brightener. Uh, it was six dollars and oh my god it works so here's kind of what the wheels look like before these things are about i don't know nine ten years old uh they've got a lot of corrosion from spending quite a few years outside uh i don't know if you can i'll get in there you can kind of see how how nasty that is uh but here's what one of the wheels looks like after uh, after a few coats of this brightener, uh, I did I think three sprays of it, let it foam, and then uh, then rinsed it off. Stuff looks almost brand new. It, I don't even know if I'm going to have to polish this. The craziest thing is I haven't even cleaned the uh, haven't cleaned the inside of the wheels yet. Here's another one, but the back of these are nasty. You can see. You can see how nasty the back of these wheels are, but look where the cleaner kind of ran down. It ate all of that off, and there's no scrubbing at all. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a couple of these wheels and show you guys how easy it is to do this and how little elbow grease there is, like no elbow grease at all. All right, so I'm gonna show you how quick and easy this is. All you gotta do is spray it on, let it sit, or let it foam up, sit, and then rinse it off. So that's after the first little spray. You can see how foamy it's getting. Just gonna let it sit for about 30 or so seconds and then spray it off with the hose.
So here's the first first round with it. You can see there's still a little bit left. And one thing I kind of did on purpose just to give you an idea is I don't know if it's going to come up on camera, but you can see the difference in color here. That's where I didn't get a good a good amount of uh, product on there. So you got to make sure you cut the whole surface or you're going to end up with clean spots and dirty spots. All right, so one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rag and I'm going to wash. I'm going to go around the ring here. You see, I'm not really, all I'm doing is wiping it. I'm not actually, no force at all. Alright, there you go. That's two coats on this wheel, or two rounds of cleaning, and it's already, and it's all, all gone. You can kind of see up in here where the bolts kind of block it from getting the spray. There's a little bit left. But look at look at how much cleaner that is. No, no elbow grease. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the back side of these wheels. I'm only gonna show one, and I'm probably only gonna do one spray, just because it's the back, and it doesn't really matter what it looks like. I just want to show you how big of a difference it makes. Here's the before, and again, you can see the clean spots for where the cleaner had previously washed uh, washed down the side. I'll go ahead and do a spray and wash on here and show you what it looks like. Just to see if there's a difference, I'm going to scrub half the wheel and not scrub the other half, just to see, you see what the, the difference is. Here's the difference of it. You can see this side was scrubbed, this side wasn't scrubbed. They look the same, just for reference. I'll, uh, I'll show you uh, what the dirty one looked like again. And that's what the before was. All right, so I got the wheels back on the buggy. See it back up in the air, all cleaned up again with no effort at all this is what the wheels look like uh if you get in really close you can still see that there's scratches in them you're not going to get those out just by doing this but this this is this is really clean I'll come over here to the back 
look at this one again that's that's like other than the scratches seriously brand new you look on the inside look how clean that is now all with this stuff right here that was six dollars at napa uh one thing you want to make sure is that this is only for raw aluminum wheels if your wheels are painted or i don't know if it works on chrome but if if they're clear coated or anything like that it's not going to work on it it's going to etch it because there's an acid in this but uh for these bare wheels this is this is the closest to infomercial clean with no effort as you can get. There you go. I hope you guys like that. Uh, stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see some more stuff. Thanks. Bye.